What's up, everyone? This is Tim here with Test Demi. We're back live and direct. And for today's video, tutorial number 19, we're going to look at what's called the while loops. All right, let's jump into it. All right. So, on the last video, everyone, we looked at the uh, for loops uh, and we also looked at the range function. So, when we're talking about a while loop, a while loop is a different kind of loop. You can use either a for loop or a while loop, uh, although a lot of times uh, industry standards prefer that you use a for loop. And the reason a lot of times because with while loops, if you're not careful, you can get caught up in what's called an infinite loop in which your program just runs on and on and on and on and never stops. And you have to probably hit control C on your keyboard if you're using Windows in order to do a keyboard interrupt. So uh, the whole idea behind or the premise behind the while loop is that you wanted to actually do something while the condition exists. In other words, while the condition is true, once that condition is met, you want it to stop doing it, all right? Well, one great way to actually avoid uh, your program being caught up in a while loop, uh, one thing you have to do, you have to remember this, or your, your while loop is going to get caught up in the infinite loop, is you have to use what's called a counter, right? So when that condition stops being met, it can exit your while loop, all right? So we're going to look at an example here. All right, let's look at an example of, uh, let's say I, I work out, like I do a lot of working out, I'm, I'm doing bench press. So I can do, uh, I can make a variable called bench press reps, right? And we're going to say I'm going to do like uh, 10 reps. Some of y'all might do 15, 20, 12, hey. So we're just going to do uh, bench press reps of 10 reps, right? So we're going to do a while loop. We're going to do four, excuse me, we're going to do, I'm saying four. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do while uh, bench press reps is greater than, uh, zero, right? So we start off from zero reps. As long as it's greater than zero, we're gonna do uh, print, and we're gonna do print. Uh, we're gonna do print rep, and we're gonna do a concatenation. Um, we're gonna use format in here, string format. I know you guys remember the string format, and if you don't remember how this is done and what what's going on here, go back and look at the previous videos on string formats. And we're gonna pass the the, the uh, bench press reps variable to that. All right, uh, and when we're done meeting this criteria, we're going to print um, rest. So just like if you're bench pressing and you say so you start 10, let, you know, for what I'm doing, my bench press, I'm, I like to count from uh, 10 all the way down. So this is a little program I'm going to use to kind of tell us and we just get a beep or a message that, oh, done. So you're going to count. It's going to say 10. You know, you're going to start from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, all the way to 1, right? So that's what this program is doing. You set the variable, you initialize this variable, bench press reps, initialize it to 10. And you're saying while the bench press reps is greater than uh, uh, 0. So while, for example, it's going to start off with 10. It's going to enter this loop saying while 10. So in this case, you can say while 10 is greater than 0. And, it, you know, 10 is greater than 0, so that's true. Right, so since 10 is greater than zero, it's going to enter this loop and execute this expression. Now, when it gets to the condition where is zero, let's say negative one, well, negative one is less than zero, right? Excuse me, negative one is greater than zero. That's false, right? It's less. So it's now it's not going to enter this loop. It's just going to exit your loop and execute this last statement here. So you just keep it in the loop as long as that condition is true, right? As long as this is true. As long as this condition is true, execute code block. Okay, so that's what you want to do here. Execute the code block. All right. So we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna make this uh, bench press reps. And what you want to do here is a counter. All right. So your counter needs to be bench press reps. And what you want to do is you want to do minus and Again, we talked about this in our variables videos. If you don't understand, just go back and look. But anyway, we're doing, we're just going to subtract one each time. So, right, this is our counter to subtract one each time. To subtract one each time around the loop. Just want to put some notes here for you guys for you to be able to follow. So, what's going to happen here is going to start off first time is going to be 10. It's gonna go in. It's gonna it's gonna um, execute this. Then when it gets here, it says bench press minus one. So it's gonna say ten minus one nine. So the next time around that it goes through the loop, this is now gonna be nine. So is nine still greater than zero? Yes. Our condition is still true. So 
he's going to execute the cold block. It's going to go. It's going to say 9 minus 1. It's going to be 8, right? And every time it's going to print that out, right? So once this gets to 0, um, it's going to say, okay, 0 greater than 0 is going to be false. Then it's going to print rest. So 10, 9, 8 gets 0. Rest. You put the bench down, okay? All right, so, um, well, now on your chest, put it back on the rack. <laughs> on your chest, don't do that. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's, let's go to execute this so you guys can check it out. And there we go, right? So the first, uh, actually, let's do this, make our code a little cleaner. Let me do it one more time, sorry. All right, you can see here, rep 10. Uh, you get the bench off, 10, 9, 8. So you're benching, right? And it goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, all the way to rep 1, and it says rest because 0 is 0 greater than 0? No. So it's going to exit the uh, cold block. It's going to exit this particular cold block, this cold block here, and you're going to go ahead and um, um, print out rest. Okay? That's it for the, this video. Uh, and to the next video, I want you to practice, practice, practice. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Also, check out testdemi.com for free video tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. We out.